Mr. Speaker, it's important to remember that the Ambassador Bridge and Coots Alberta crossings were cleared before the Emergency Act was invoked. The Act was not needed to clear the border blockades. Police were well equipped to take care of this with all of their existing laws and powers. So what then was the national security threat that met the extraordinarily high threshold needed to invoke this Act? Is there something they're not telling us, or was the Prime Minister trying to cover up for his incompetent management of the protest? Mr. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. When illegal blockades hurt workers and endangered public safety, police were clear that they needed tools not held by any federal, provincial or territorial law. It was only after we got advice from law enforcement that we invoked the Emergencies Act. The Canadian Policing Association, Canadian and Ontario Associations of Chiefs of Police all agreed this is how the legislation should be used for emergencies. We've now announced the independent inquiry to examine the circumstances that led to the declaration and the measures taken in response. I know we all look forward to Justice Rouleau's work. Honourable Member for Kildon and St. Paul. Mr. Speaker, the protest organizers are being held accountable in courts as we speak, but this inquiry, this inquiry is to ensure the government is being held accountable. That's right. Invoking an act with the power to override charter rights is dangerous, so the purpose of the inquiry is to tell the public whether the threshold needed to invoke the act was in fact met. But the Liberal government has not made a convincing argument, meaning the threshold remains in serious doubt. So either they're hiding something or they're covering up for incompetence. Will the Prime Minister waive Cabinet confidence and let Canadians know the true story? Yeah, the right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, when we invoke the Emergencies Act in a restrained and limited way, we also committed to the full transparency that goes with the invocation of these hours. Whether it's a parliamentary committee that has been examining the issue or whether it is a full public inquiry that will be transparent and have the power uh, to understand the circumstances and the use of the Emergencies Act. That is the kind of thing that everyone should look forward to. Unfortunately, Conservatives are made uneasy by the fact that they were standing against hard-working Canadians uh, by standing with people who are illegally blockading our economy. The Honourable Member for uh, Medicine Hat, Carson Warner. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Unfortunately, I think the Prime Minister's definition of transparency is different than Canadians. Here, here. The Emergency Act stipulates that the Special Joint Committee and the Inquiry are responsible to hold the actions of the government to account, That's not right. that of Canadian citizens. Yes. At last night's committee meeting, the Ministers of Public Safety and Justice uh, continue to hide behind cabinet confidences and lawyer-client privilege. Oh, Will the Prime Minister be transparent? and accountable to Canadians and release the documents that the government relied upon to justify the invocation of the Emergencies Act. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. An integral part of invoking uh, un un unutilized to this point uh, acts like the Emergencies Act is a level of transparency and accountability that comes through a parliamentary committee created to look into exactly that and a transparent public inquiry headed up by Justice Rouleau, who will be able uh, to examine all these questions around the circumstances that led up to the invocation of that and the use of the Act in itself. That is what Canadians expect, but that's exactly what makes Conservatives uncomfortable uh, because of their support of those convoys. Oh,